I feel like sport is a simpler version of life in some senses. It allows us to be able to communicate with each other and ourselves in a way that we need to learn how to do in life. That support system is really key to not only self-confidence in the sport, but also self-confidence in life. So Ella was born with a congenital birth defect and um, we amputated her foot at nine months old. Sometimes cutting something off to make a situation better doesn't necessarily sound like the best solution, but the doctor just basically said, if it was my child, I would amputate, so, so we did. And look at her now. <laughs> but it's good for form. <laughs> Elo Rodriguez yeah. is an emerging Paralympic athlete from Christopher High School. There's always a vibe about her that, you know, it's just, you know, hey, we're here to train, we're here to go. Nothing's gonna stop me, nothing's gonna stop you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she radiates joy, confidence, and pride. But as you can imagine, growing up, Ella had to come to terms with what made her different. She had a real hard time with it. People would stare and, seemed interested and she was not, um, she was very standoffish. She didn't want to talk about it. She just wanted to act like she was the same as everybody else. I mean, in sports, you can't hide your prosthetic. Like in normal day life, you could try to hide with pants or something, but, <laughs> but in sports, there's no hiding. Ella says by playing sports, her confidence began to grow, learning how to embrace her difference. So Ella signed up for nearly every sport she could. Dance, volleyball, field hockey. I did golf for two years. I do wheelchair basketball. I do cheerleading and I do track and field. And I think my main motivation for finding a sport that I liked, even despite my challenge, was to find a community of people that would support me and um, that we could support each other. Because I feel like human connection is very important, especially when you're going through life. Even when I'm doing sports, sometimes people um, aren't the most accepting and that you can tell that there are people that don't exactly accept me for who I am. There are always going to be those kind of people and I feel like sports kind of prepare you for that and they really make you and they force you to trust in your own ability and to trust that you'll be able to improve. Today, Ella focuses on two main sports, track and field and wheelchair basketball. She hopes to continue her athletic career for a collegiate team and for Team USA at the Paralympics. Being a Paralympic emerging athlete, it's definitely a lot of pressure, but for the flip side of it and probably the most prominent side of it, you, um, you have this sense of pride that you are able to one day possibly compete for your country. The more people know about um, Paralympics, I feel like the world could become like a more accepting place. Sports have guided Ella on her journey to acceptance, confidence, and self-love. You good? Ella wants to be that guiding light up, up, up for others. There you go. I believe I want to be an advocate because when I was younger, I just felt like there was no one else that could answer my questions. Because I had questions like, what do I do when people stare at me? And I just wanted to have someone that could mentor me possibly and that would just be there for me to answer the small questions even when I was a child. And I feel like you could reach your full potential with someone just guiding you. We'll get you a smaller one. And that's what I want to be for other athletes. <laughs>